All right, so this event takes a ton of staff to make, get over here, come on. So this event takes a lot of staff to put together. People don't just show up and then there's like nothing to do. There's gotta be stuff to do. Tell me who you are and what you do here. I'm Katie Milhorn and I'm a vendor coordinator. Okay, tell us about the vendors because the vendors are a big part of this event. This obviously gives people something to walk around, find what's involved in coordinating that and then working with all these vendors. Uh, our vendors are awesome and basically our job is just to make sure they're happy. They've got Wi-Fi, they've got, um, got tents and chairs and, and everything they need to uh, to sell their product or introduce themselves. Anybody you want to, besides the main sponsors, because I'm going to go around and talk to them, any vendors uh, that you want us to go check out that you think are really cool? Oh gosh, there's so many really cool ones. Uh, we Name got, like, like four or five. Okay, we got uh, Tractor Supply, obviously they're not smaller. Uh, <laughs> the alpacas, those are really amazing. They're really educated farmers. Uh, we got Farmer Brad over there. Uh, Brad's hustling his chickens. He's awesome, awesome for knowledge. All right, we're here with one of the sponsors for the 2019 Homesteaders of America Conference. We're here with Tom from McMurray Hatchery. Why are you here? Why did McMurray Hatchery want to come to the Homesteaders Conference? We're, we're here because this is, we feel like the kind of the, the future, especially for us as a, as a chicken hatchery, but for, for food, for local, uh, sustainable options for, for people to create in their community to, to produce their own products, their own meat, their own eggs. Yeah. What do you have here to show people? What it, what have you guys been talking about? We're, we're really excited because um, we've got a couple of new broiler lines for next year. Um, so we're, we're adding more more heritage type meat birds. So they're going to be uh, an enhanced heritage version of our, of our Delaware. I, I've kind of tagged along. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, you talked them into it? Yeah. Hold okay. Sit down here and get on here. The Two Family Homestead Live Show. Going on right now. <laughs> You'll have a new catalog coming out for 2020 next year. Uh, be a good one. Where do people go to find that and where do they go to order chicks? So, um, McMurrayHatchery.com. One thing I really like to push is, is we're more than just ordering chickens. Uh, we have experts. Um, in, in almost everything. If you want to do it, we've, we've either done it or talked to somebody who's done it. Um, we have great phone staff. We've been around for a hundred years and we have hundreds of years of experience and people who are, are able to help you know, guide you on every process, every every piece along the line. So we're, we're happy just to talk. If you want to talk about chickens, give us a call. <laughs> so. your, your chicken uh, support helpline, yeah. McMurrayHatchery.com. <laughs> All right, we're here with Ben with Premier One Supplies, and we want to talk to you about why come to the Homesteaders of America conference. Well, it's a great opportunity to um, kind of interact with people that are in the homestead and uh, hobby farm industry. Uh, a lot of these folks are using our fencing for yeah. uh, rotational grazing, uh, you know, even even setting up chicken runs or uh, doing pigs on pasture or woodlots. So it's a good opportunity to interact with all those folks. Can you show off a couple of these fences? We have them yeah. at our home, but. Yeah, so we kind of have a sampling set up here of uh, different heights. And as we go through, um, I've got I got fences that uh, work great for the garden. Uh -huh. So this would keep out your woodchucks, your groundhogs, um, rabbits. And as we go up in height, we have a couple options then for pasture pigs or hogs. Um, this first one you're looking at, it works well in drier soils. It's a posneg fence. Okay. So when you're in sandy or drier conditions, this is going to be more effective because it doesn't depend on the soil moisture to give the animal a shock. So a couple new things that we're doing in the in the poultry world is, uh, especially with Justin, is this shock or not fence, which is the black one okay. here. So this one has a kind of a chick tight mesh down at the bottom that's 12 inches off the ground. So I know Justin's doing some work, Justin Rhodes is doing some work where he's um, he's trying to get those birds out quicker. Uh -huh. And then as they grow, basically it turns into poultry net. So you can kind of have two fences in one there. Well, thank you so much for coming to this conference. How do people find out more about Premier One when they're at home? Yeah, so check out our website. It's uh, www.premieronesupplies.com. And um, we got a lot of the same information there. We have catalogs, request a catalog, they're free. and uh, give us a call we'd love to help well you guys make an excellent product and you've always uh, given me excellent customer service so i really appreciate you guys being here awesome what y'all sell here we sell homemade um vegetables i was just in spain in the spring and oh my goodness like 
I mean, you just can't, you can't get this in the U.S. like you can there. Except, apparently standing right here. I beg to differ. I had <laughs> a friend. Not, why is it not more available? Oh, well, can you tell me how to make this? No. Well, not many people do know how to make this, even though there's nothing to it. Um, but in Europe, they have a pretty long-standing tradition of what to do with pig legs. But I had a friend recently who we had helped butcher a hog with years ago, and he has a prosciutto in his home <laughs> on a stand. Got a box this here. And um, from our workshop with him, and he was in Spain, and he sent me these photos of him in front of these hamonerias with all of the cured meats and hummels and everything. And he's like, I got to tell you, this is all amazing, but. I grew I'd rather up. be eating mine uh, back at the house. I was like, that's what I want to hear. <laughs> so, so we, basically, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. what's going on, Terry? What's going on? Good to see you. Good to see you, Terry. How you doing? Nature's medicine chest right there. Go ahead. I was working towards Sorry. Sorry. I was going to steal it and take a shot, but go ahead. Beautiful freeze dried berries these days now, you know, they are so much better than dried oak berries, much stronger. A lot of the regular dried berries, they lose all their juice in the process, so they have like 20% of the original juice left in them. Whereas freeze dried berries have all the juice and everything still left in there, it makes them so delicious. Hey, we're here with Countryside, who's one of the main sponsors for the Homesteaders of America conference, and we really appreciate you guys sponsoring the event. Where can people go to find magazines like this, Backyard Poultry, and uh, blogs and stuff like that from Countryside? Well, you can go to imcountryside.com, where we have information on beekeeping, soap making, homesteading, poultry, goats, sheep, livestock, all sorts of stuff for homesteaders. That's awesome. Well, we appreciate you being here. Good, thank you. We're AJ Farms, LLC and our YouTube channel is Homestead Evolution. What do you guys do with all this quail? We sell the quail, we sell the eggs, we sell hatching eggs all over the United States. With this type system and the system we have on our farm, you can raise 192 birds in a four foot space. Four foot for footprint and you can feed a family of 10 to 15. Well, on eggs and meat. I am selling out, so come get what is here. <laughs> We've had a lot of people interested in fiber this year, so people have been really, really kind and, and coming to see what we brought. Tell me which one you think is the softest. The store where you can actually touch. Like, I am like all about touching the yarn. This one, I like. You like that one? I do too. Do you see all the colors in yeah. here? Each of those colors was dyed separately, and then a really, really talented lady spun these in the yarn for me after I dyed all the different colors. I will open my Etsy store again after this festival if I have anything left to open it with. <laughs> Where's it at? Um, it's on Etsy at Timber Creek Timber Creek Farm. So Etsy.com slash shop slash Timber Creek Farm. So what trap is this? This is your dog proof or your coon cuff. This is a target specific trap. It will only catch raccoons and possums. All right, we're here with Farm Life Out Outfitters. Can you guys introduce yourselves? I'm Michelle. And I'm Adam. And what do you guys do? Well, um, we do farm and country graphic tees, mostly. Yeah. I'm Farmer Brad, and I have a eight acre homestead in East Central Indiana, and I make an automatic chicken water bucket. Hi, I'm Jason Matthias. This is my wife, Shannon, and uh, our daughter, Norva. We actually have seven children, and we live in the mountains of Virginia, west of Roanoke. Uh, we have an heirloom seed business called Seeds for Generations that we do with our kids. Um, they do all the packing and processing and fulfilling orders. Mm -hmm. So we integrate that into our homeschooling and uh, the kids learn through business, which is a lot of fun. Um, so we sell heirloom seeds and guard we provide gardening resources to gardeners. So we have uh, online planning tools and do online training videos and those kind of things. So check us out at seedsforgenerations.com. I'm Bandana Grandma. I'm from Maryland and I make homemade uh, gifts and wares. I have mittens over here. These are what I'm known for mostly that I make from recycled wool sweaters. And they're fully lined with fleece, so they are the warmest mittens you'll ever wear. So see our beard oil uh, packaging there. I wish y'all could feel my beard. You would understand what Can I touch there. it? Yeah. Oh, that's, that feels pretty good actually. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Jake, I'm, I'm sorry your husband led the, 
Peggy, I'm sorry that your husband just fell in love with my beard. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, I didn't mean to ask, why do you why do you come out here? Why do you feel it's important to show well, off this skill out here? So it is actually a dying skill. Uh, I, every year I have five or six apprentices, but I'm one of the few guys that will actually take young kid apprentices. It's a skill that is very important for the homestead, especially in a grid down type situation. Um, and what this does is there is a trigger down in there. Now this is the Freedom Brand trap. This is a push-pull trigger. So if he puts too much pressure on it, it will set it off. But if he also grabs it down in there and pulls it, it will set it off. Where do you get a trap like this? You get it from me. You sell them? Yep. We sell them on the, our website, which is bigbearhomestead.com. All right, we're here with Austin with Logox, one of the main sponsors for the Homesteaders of America conference. This is our third year together it is, at yeah. the event. Yeah. And we just wanted to talk about what this conference has meant to you and your company and then what, uh, what your product line is. Yeah, well, Homesteaders of America is really where it all began uh, three years ago. You know, we've really been blessed to, to grow the company since then. Uh, we back last year as a sponsor. We're here again this year sponsoring off here with Doug and Stacy along with Hudson. It's always something that we look forward to every year and come back just to see the folks uh, who, you know, especially the ones who have bought some from us the year before come back and tell us how much they enjoy it uh, and then meet new folks here at the, at the show is always just a, a real blessing so all right so what do you guys have what do you guys do with uh, Logox so this is where it all began this is the Logox 31 forestry multi-tool and, uh, and we're a family company this is uh, my father John who's actually the inventor of it and uh, and Lynn my mom and uh, we came together in 2016 around this tool as you see right here with this because it's so modular what's awesome about it is that you are able to have a lot of functionality in a tool that's really compact, okay? So this fits into a bag. The first thing we're able to do with this that's totally unique, around like this, just bending slightly at the knees. And I'm just gonna swing this up onto my simulated splitter here, holster it, operate my log splitter, and then uh, basically continue to do that throughout the day. And I'm not actually bending over, putting a lot of strain on my back. See, this is a larger log round. Uh, to be able to hook in like this and drag it over to your vertical splitter, prop it up onto your vertical splitter. It forms this, the timber jack. Now you have all three pieces connected with the clevis pins again. This doesn't require any additional tools, it's just simple clevis pins. What you're able to do is you're able to drop this onto it like this, roll this back, and now what that creates is a nice solid cutting platform. Well, we really appreciate you guys being at this event, being one yeah. of the main sponsors, and we uh, look forward to having a great weekend. Yeah, we do too. We love being here every year.